Hey kids, do you know where I am today? We're at Stu Leonard's. Stu Leonard's is a grocery store, but it's not like any other grocery store. There's so much fun to be had here. You're going to see some cool things. There's going to be buttons we're going to search for, and we're going to see lots of shapes, lots of colors. We're going to get to try some fun things, too. I hope you're going to have as much fun as I do. Let's go see! <laughs> go, Santa, go, Santa, go, Santa, go, from the night. Oh, look at everything! Oh, look at all the fruits and vegetables! Look at all these squashes! And corn and tomatoes! Look at what's here! It's stews! There's a big rock! Do you know what the rock says? It says Stu Leonard's policy! It's our policy is... Rule number one! The customer is always right! Rule number two! It says, if the customer is ever wrong... We read rule number one. See that? Isn't that silly? <laughs> but it's a great policy. Everybody loves it. And that's by Stu Leonard. Well, why don't we go in and see how some things are made at Stu's? Let's go! Wow, look at everything! This is so cool! Let's go check out the rice popping machine. Did you see that pop out there? Wasn't that just awesome? It's so cool to watch things here at Stu's. <laughs> well, I think it's time to go see how things are made in the bakery. Let's go! <laughs> well, here we are at the bakery. I love watching things get baked. Like cookies and cakes and maybe bagels and bread. We'll see what we have going today. Come along and see! <laughs> First we mix the pizza dough right over there in the mixer, then run it through this machine here and it comes out in nice shaped balls. Excellent. And how long does it have to sit before it gets used? Uh, it usually sits for less than a day. Okay. This is uh, you know, ready-made pizza dough for folks who want to make pizza at home. That's excellent. All right. And um, how big a pizza does this kind of amount make? Probably about a you know, regular 16 inch pizza. That's excellent. All right. And uh, what's your favorite kind of pizza, Steven? Oh my goodness, all of them. All right, <laughs> good answer. All right, well, thanks so much for explaining no it. All right, have a great day. You too. All right, stay on the nice list for me. I will. All right. Do you see all these colors? What colors do you see? I see blue and green and pink and yellow. Aren't those rainbow bagels amazing? You like to eat rainbow bagels? Have you ever had one before? They're pretty yummy. <laughs> wow! Look at all this bread! Look at the different types! There's all kinds of all green bread. And just some really cool different types of breads here. And here's some bagels getting ready to be cooked. Do you know what they're doing here? This bread is getting sliced! Isn't that so cool? Look at all the little flames! And it's coming out in a whole sliced loaf of bread! Did you know that's how they were making sliced bread? That's so cool! <laughs> Look what I found! <laughs> They're making cookies over here! Look at I found some bagels again! We have some everything bagels! We have some sesame seed bagels! Poppy seed bagels here! Look at these! See that? Those look so good! Do you know where we are now? We're with all the pies. Do you remember when we went and picked apples? Well, do you know what they do with the apples here? They turn them into pies. And they turn other food into pies also. There's all kinds of pies. And 
They even sell pie by the half. See all the different flavors? This is strawberry rhubarb. This one is a peach and blueberry and a cherry and just a plain root blueberry too. Those are all awesome flavors, right? Don't you just love them all? <laughs> hey, do you know where we are now? This is where they make donuts. Today they're making pumpkin flavor and they're making apple flavor donuts. And we're gonna see how they do this. It's a pretty cool process. Over here, this is where the batter gets made. See how she's making all the ingredients? She's mixing them all together. The machine drops the batter into the oil. And the donuts take a little ride on the conveyor belt and up the hill to dry off. Then they slide right into the donut catcher. Wow, that looks fun. And finally, the donut maker dips the donuts in cinnamon sugar to make them extra yummy. Oh, <laughs> mmm, good. Let's count the rows. Let's see how many rows there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six whole rows of donuts. Don't they just look yummy? <laughs> Now I'm at one of my favorite spots, the ice cream department. You know, it's cute. They don't just make ice cream. They also make these yummy coated apples. Look at the different colors, too. They have chocolate put on first, and then they put all those wonderful yummy toppings. Today, we're going to make a sundae. Are you ready to do that with me? Come along. Let's go. To make a sundae, first I need something to put it in, right? So I'm going to grab this cup right here. And then we're gonna go over to the ice cream machine. See the different flavors? They have chocolate and vanilla, strawberry and vanilla. And they also have pistachio and pumpkin. Today, I think I'm gonna go with maybe a vanilla and chocolate swirl. Look at that. Wow, look at all that ice cream! <laughs> Let's go and put some toppings on it. Here's some sprinkles. Do you like different color sprinkles? Look at those sprinkles. We gotta put some sprinkles on there. Let's see what's next. Some chocolate sprinkles. Some Oreos. Can't forget the gummy bears. <laughs> And some Reese's Pieces, too! Look at all those different flavors! One more thing, or two more things we're going to put on this Sunday. This is hot fudge. There we go! Last but not least, we have to put some whipped cream on our sundae, right? Here we go. Wow, isn't that look awesome? I get to try my creation. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That is awesome. Don't you just like ice cream sundaes? I like them almost as much as cookies. <laughs> I'm all done with my sundae. Now I have to recycle my container. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> it's an ice cream cone. There we go. And they're all done with that. <laughs> I'm here at the coffee section with my friend Cody. And Cody also makes hot chocolate. And I just love hot chocolate. May I have a hot chocolate, please, Cody? Thank you. Would you like some whipped cream? I love whipped cream. That's the best way to get it, don't you think? Oh, that's Excellent. Here you go. Thank you so much, Cody. I love it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you know where I am now? I'm 
in one of my favorite spots. I'm in with the fruits and vegetables. Look at all this different kind of produce. Do you see any of your favorites here? I love all of them. <laughs> look at these Brussels sprouts. And look at the lemons. Do you see those two colors? Aren't they pretty cool? These are green. And those are yellow. <laughs> you know what these are? That's right, they're mushrooms. These are really big portobello mushrooms. Do you know that mushrooms grow usually in a forest on a fallen tree maybe? But they're really yummy for people who like mushrooms. <laughs> do you see all these bananas? Aren't they really great to see? What colors do you see? Do you see greens and yellows? Do you know when they grow on the tree, they're actually green, and then the more ripe they become, they become more and more yellow, and then if they're too ripe, they become brown. <laughs> oh, let's see. Do you see over there? I'm going to push this button. Let's see what happens. A Chiquita banana makes a great meal with so many good things under the peel. Look at all of these apples. Remember when we saw them on the tree? Well, this is what happens when they come to a grocery store. You see all the different varieties and all the different colors. Here we have red and they're gala. We have some honey crisp. They're red and green too, right? Over here we have Granny Smith. What color are they? They're green. Those are some good eating green apples. We have some Fuji apples, and they're more red again. And look at these golden delicious apples. Isn't that a pretty cool color? Over here we have Macintosh. All right, and we have red delicious. Look at how red they are. Isn't that a cool red? And we have some macoons. Do you remember which ones of these we saw when they were growing on the tree? Let's see if you can find them by watching it again. <laughs> oh, look at all this broccoli. Do you like broccoli? Do you know that you can get lots of vitamins and minerals from broccoli? One of the best things that you can get from broccoli is calcium. Isn't that pretty cool? How do you like your broccoli? <laughs> do you know that veggies and fruits come in all different colors? Do you see these eggplants? They're supposed to be purple, but they're so purple, they look black, don't they? <laughs> look at these big grapefruits. They're so big, they're like a big size softball. Do you like grapefruit? Are they sweet or tangy to you? <laughs> Enjoy, because they're so yummy. <laughs> look at what we have here. There's a couple of different types of melons. Here we have honeydew. And over here, we have cantaloupe. Do you know what colors they are on the inside? Honeydews are usually a light green. And cantaloupe is usually a bright orange, almost like a pumpkin. And do you know, do you remember seeing the pumpkins at, when we went and visited the farm? Well, these melons grow on plants similar to pumpkins. Isn't that a cool thing? <laughs> these guys, they're gonna sing. So we have the simple buzz we want you all to know. The customer is always right. It's the number one move we recite. When everything is bent, we talk to say enough. If the customer is wrong, we beat the number one. We always try our best with all our might. Because the customer is always right. Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. Can you see the sign? It says I C E C R E A 
them! That smells ice cream! Look at these! These are different types of ice cream sandwiches! This is like this regular one, but it's round! And this is frozen cookie! Do you see them? Can you see that? All the ice cream inside, the two cookies? I love cookies and ice cream, so that's awesome for me! <laughs> Mahi Mahi and yellowfin tuna. And wow, look at that! That's a swordfish. They call it that because his nose looks like a pirate sword. Then we have a yellowtail snapper and a red snapper. Wow, look what color that fish's fin is! Right, it's blue. And there's a Florida grouper. My good friend Clover! You wanna hear Clover say hi to you? Did you know that what that's what cows say? <laughs> Do you see all the milk here? Do you remember when we learned how cows are milk? Well, this is what it looks like after it's packaged. Well, do you know that there's other kinds of milk too? Do you know there's almond milk? And there's now there's oat milk, there's rice milk, and there's also cashew milk now. Do you like those different types of milk? I like some of the different ones myself. Oat milk is really pretty good if you've never had it. <laughs> Look what I found here. Lots of kids love to come and see this area. Do you see all the colorful candies? <laughs> Do you see your favorites? I see gummy bears, I see chocolate almonds, I see fruit sours and malt balls and birthday cake batter bites. Look at all the different things. <laughs> Do you have a dog at home? Do you know that Stu Leonard actually makes the best buddy bones? They have all these different treats and they're all natural for your dog. And Look at all the different flavors for your dog! You know, lots of dogs love peanut butter, and there's chicken flavor, and cheese flavor, there's butter waffles, or waffle cookies. Look at all of these! They almost sound good enough for us to eat! <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things about coming to Stu Leonard's? They have all of these buttons that you can push! And I love to push them all! Do you want to hear what this one says when I push it? Here we go! And now, ladies, gentlemen, and children of all ages, melting our hearts and spreading joy to our ears, the sweet and creamy voices of those divas of Stu Letters, the Dixie Sticks. We're making sweet cream butter here at Stu's. We're making sweet cream butter here at Stu's. It's the freshest in the land, the best of any brand. We're making sweet cream butter here at Stu's. Roll on butter, roll on, roll on butter, roll on. As soon as we keep on your hand and satisfy your yearning, so roll on butter, roll on. Look what I found! Another button! Let's see what this one does. Push 
Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know where I am now? I'm at a great place. This is where they make pizzas at Stu's. Look at the pizza ovens. They also make different types of garlic breads and calzones and all of those yummy things. We're gonna go over here and I have my gloves on because I'm gonna help make a pizza. Come along with me. So I'm here with a pizza man, George, and he's gonna show us how to make the pizza and I'm gonna get to help him. Here we go, he's gonna put some cheese on it now. Go ahead, George. Look at all that yummy cheese! Look at him putting it on there, isn't that awesome? He puts just enough cheese on each pizza. And then when he gets that done, some of them get other toppings. And today, he's making cheese pizzas and pepperoni pizzas. And I'm going to help with some pepperonis too. And you take them just like that. See how he's putting them around? Just like that, we just put them all the way around. Kind of fill up the pizza with the pepperoni. Don't they just look yummy? Thanks so much, George. Here we are at the potato chip area. And do you know what? We're gonna watch potatoes get turned into potato chips. Don't they sound fun? We're gonna see the whole process here. It's gonna go into this bin in here. Ready? Here it goes. And now it's been squished into, and they look like this. Wow, isn't that so cool? You know, after they get peeled and sliced, they come over here and they go in the fryer. They have to be mixed around with the rake so that they get cooked just right. They're getting nice and crispy golden brown. I can't wait to eat them. Yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> Got to stop for about 10 seconds. Let them cool off for a few minutes. Then, the chips get spread all out evenly for seasoning. Stu Leonard makes many different varieties of flavors. Today's flavor is going to be rosemary kettle chips. It's so yummy. <laughs> sprinkle it all over there. Look at her sprinkling it. It's going to make it taste so yummy. There we go, look at it go. Kind of scoop them all around, mix it up, make sure they get all the flavor. Now that the chips are all made, the last step in the process is putting them in the bag and weighing them. Sometimes if there's too many in there, we have to take them out so that they weigh the right amount. <laughs> it is so yummy! <laughs> Did you enjoy making chips with me today? It was so fun! <laughs> Look what I found! A donkey! Just like the one we saw at the orchard! And do you know what else is with this particular donkey? There's another button! Let's push it and see what happens! Where do you look when they to warm it? Ah, I see you're back for more, huh? Why don't you try a big old cup of our world famous homemade sugar? You know, when I'm hungry, I pop on the old feet that full of that delicious chicken soup. Wow! Look at where we are now! We're at the flower section. You remember what kind of flower this is? That's right! It's a sunflower! Just like the ones we saw at the orchard. Not quite as big though, are they? But they're pretty cool colors, aren't they? Look at all of these colors. Look at all the different bouquets over here. Look at them all. Look at these. They're the same colors that we saw in the bagels, aren't they? Look at all these roses. Do you see all of the different colors? We have a, a pink and a lavender and a regular red rose. We have some more different shades of pink and a peach color. And look at this yellow and greenish. Another lavender and white roses. And look at all of these wonderful colors. 
I just love flowers, don't you? They look so pretty and they smell so good, don't they? It's fall, and do you know one of the holidays in fall is Halloween. Look at all the fun Halloween decorations there are here. Oh, look at there's scarecrows, and there's ghosts, and there's witches too. They get a little scary. You know what ghosts say? Ghosts say boo! <laughs> We're in the garden center at Stu's now, and do you know this time of year they sell lots of different kinds of seasonal flowers, and there's also a big variety of pumpkins and gourds and all of those fun fall things. Let's look at some of the colors that are out here today. And here are some colorful mums. Mums are a nice, hearty fall flower. They're, most of them are able to last in some of the cooler temperatures. They're all different colors. Different sizes too. Sometimes you see really tiny mums like these. And then you get the bigger ones. They can be almost like the size of a daisy. Look at all the pumpkins. And you know what? Right now, let's count some. Why don't you count with me? One. Two. Four, five. Did you get to count the five with me? <laughs> Did you see all those scary things over there? Did you see what this sign says? It says monsters sighted lurking above. We better keep our eyes out for monsters. Ooh, there's two right there. Spooky. Wow, you know where I am now? I'm at Stu's Haunted Hay Maze, and it's really scary. Do you want to come and see? Let's go! <laughs> Look at all these. Look at those ghosts. Have you ever seen a purple ghost? There's one right there. Whoa. And look at what up. Oh, look at that big spider. Don't let it bite you. Oh, no. I don't really like them. Don't hurt them if they're not bad spiders, okay? Let's see, what else do we find? <gasps> There's an orange ghost. Is that a scary book ghost? That ghost says, Boo! Can you spell boo? B. O. O. Boo! <laughs> Here we are at the maze. Let's see if we can find our way through it. Can we find our way out? Oh, well, I don't think this is the way out. Maybe I have to go this way. Here we go. Look at this cool tree. Hi, how are you? High five. <laughs> I like the fox on your shirt. We have to keep going this way. Let's go. I think we have to go this way. Let's go. How you doing, buddy? High five. Keep going this way. Here we go. Are you following? Let's go, come on. Oh no, I came to a dead end. I have to come back out. Let's go this way. Come on. I think we're almost out. Let's go. We made it, yay! <laughs> Do you know that Stu Leonard started out on a farm? It's pretty cool because you actually get to see the animals eat and what they did, like to have. And sometimes you can even feed some of the animals different grains. So let's go see what we can see today at the animal farm. Well, you know, I'm in the farm now at Stu Leonard and I'm here with our farmer, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How are you, Santa Claus? I'm great. It's so you. nice to see you again. You Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. All right. Hope you're having a good day. I'm sure they are, especially now that they know that we're going to go see some animals, right, Kathy? Yes. What animals are we going to Come see today? Come take a walk and we'll show you some calves. They're hosting calves. They're eight weeks old. All right. I can't wait to see them. Let's go. So who are we going to meet here, Kathy? You're going to meet Diesel and Gunner. They're hosting cows. They're actually bulls. Oh, okay. so they don't give milk, kids. They don't give milk. All right. Okay. So these are so boys. So let's go this way. All right. Okay. Gunner. 
the blue eye, which is unusual for calves to have. It oh, happens right. every so often. Okay. And Diesel has got both brown eyes. Oh, right. And Santa, what would you like to know about them? Well, how big do they usually get, Kevin? They get to 1,800 pounds when they're full grown. Wow, that's pretty big, isn't it? That's mongoose. Yeah. It's bigger than your reindeer. That's right. <laughs> that's why yeah, I don't, I Santa. think that might be why I don't use them to pull the sleigh. Santa, you couldn't have them pull your sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, as he's doing I... this, he's trying to milk off me because he sees me as mom. All right. Because they're very young. They're very intelligent yeah. animals. Uh, they have one stomach, four chambers. The last part of their stomach is like a human stomach. It breaks down their food and it goes through their system. All right. And, and what they, is their favorite food? Uh, their favorite food as of right now is uh, the liquid is milk. They love hay, which is here, Sam. All right. Okay, and I'll show you how he pulls this apart. Okay, maybe he's not hungry right All now. Right. Or he's camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are, getting ready to go into the chicken area. Come along and with us. Let's look at the bird. This is the hen house. And if you look in there, you'll see eggs in the nest on the right side. And those are the eggs that you eat in the morning. Within 24 hours, they can produce one egg to two eggs. Well, what kind of chickens are we going to see now, Kathy? You are going to see Charlie and the four girls. Okay. This is the rooster Charlie, and these are the four girls. Okay. And there's three here that you see, as you know. The fourth one is in the corner. Now you got their mallets and more ducks. The boys in the bird species have the dark green heads, and the brown one that's located over here is a female. Okay. And they're only eight months old. Okay. So. Ducks are also the same kind of uh, animal as chickens, right? Yes. When do they produce eggs? They produce eggs six months after they're mature. All right. Excellent. We're going to go see we goats just next. Come right this way. You'll meet the goats. Let's go. Come on, Santa Claus. Hi, look at me. I'm here with a reindeer. Santa, oh. silly Santa. <laughs> they're goats. I was joking, Kathy. Goats and sheep. All right. Well, look it. They have antlers, too. But they're different than reindeer antlers, aren't they, Kat? These are Noverian goats, which means they have floppy ears. Okay. You notice some of goats, different breeds, they have shorter ears. They're right. almost like reindeers. Right. Okay. Uh, this is this is Chewy. That's Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is right here. This oh, is Vincent Bubba. Van Gogh. Bubba is after Bubba Gump. <laughs> okay. He does have a brother named Gump. Okay, Bubba was one of our special goats. He was actually born not breeding. And the real farmer, Gunner, has did CPR on him and brought him back to life. Right. Oh, so we'll be happy. All right, bye goats! <laughs> Come and see the animals and tell them that Santa said hi! <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit at Stu Leonard's today, and I hope you loved seeing all of the way things are made here. I know I sure did, and I really liked the ice cream, didn't you? <laughs> what else did you like? I really enjoyed watching the potato chips get made. That was lots of fun. What was your favorite today? <laughs> well, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>